It's the third Saturday in June, and for Olympia Village, it's time for the ninth annual Think Pink Car, Truck, and Bike Show. The day starts early for the small army of staff and volunteers, and it's all hands on deck to help prepare the pavilion and showgrounds for the day's activities and events. Show vendors and sponsors get busy setting up their displays and setting out their products in the Think Pink Mini Mall. Well before the gates open to the public, a steady stream of beautiful show cars, trucks and bikes make their way into the park. It's a well choreographed dance to get all of the incredibly valuable vehicles into place, but they've done this before and it all goes off without a hitch. The car show registration team is in overdrive, helping everyone get signed in and making sure that each vehicle is in the correct category. It's also a last chance for entrants to put spit and polish to paint and chrome. There's lots of awards to be handed out later, but today is really all about friends, families, and raising money for breast cancer research. And now, on with the show. Hi, I'm Cam Riley from Brantford. The car is a 32 Vicky hot rod with a 400 small block Chevy motor in it. 4 to 8 inch rear end and a 350 transmission. We came to this event because my sister-in-law had breast cancer and I think it's a great cause. Uh, this is a 61 Corvette, 327, 350 horse. Uh, I've had it 30 years. Done a lot, a lot of shows with it. Restored it when I first got it and then I did it again about 18 years ago. I used to do probably 25 shows a year. I probably do about 15 now. First time here, yeah. Saw the promo on it, thought that's pretty cool. What's your favorite part of these uh, these events? Uh, you know what, I think it's just meeting the people. Yeah, and uh, seeing some of the nice cars they have, uh, you know, in the area. Lots of uh, beautiful cars too. But, uh, I know our, our car kits, so we like to let the kids sit in it, get a feel for what these old cars are like. And uh, they seem to like that a lot, so glad to be involved. Jamie Lichty, I got my old six street glide here. Check out these lights. Hi, we're at the Kids Bike Show for 2018 for our breast cancer fundraiser. Last year we had a bunch of kids show up with decorated bikes and it was great and this year we look forward to the same. We have a prize for each category and each age group so we had some interesting entries last year and we're hoping for the same this year. So the kids will come up here and they register and they'll be given a number and the number they'll put on their decorated bikes and then they park them over there by the fence. They put a lot of time and effort into it and a lot of them are pink, very very pink. in our family that had breast cancer but they survived it. So you're participating in the bike show? Mm-hmm. Nice and did you decorate your bike? Yes. My name is Hazel and I'm selling 50-50 tickets for the breast cancer and the draw will be at 9 p.m. tonight. Hi, my name's Shannon. I'm here today with Tupperware Canada at the Think Pink Cause at Olympia Village Trailer Park. I'm here today with my products uh, to help support the cause and I'm hoping that we can have some interest and have some a few Tupperware parties around the campfire. How you doing? Glenn Byrne. Landscape Painter, it's here at the Think Pink event 2018. Great cause, great event. Come on out, a whole bunch of vendors. This has been a great time. Then we stick around, we have a big event, everybody parties, and usually there's a live band and barbecued food. Thank you all for coming out. Hey, my name is Thomas Taylor. I started this uh, Think Pink Lemonade stand about eight years ago. I've raised over a thousand dollars and I love having fun here. It's amazing, the day's great, and it's a lot of cool cars, bikes, and trucks. Come on out.
52 GMC. Uh, put a new GM crate motor in it, 350. 7R4 transmission. Basically, I've done everything to it myself. It's comfortable, take it anywhere you want. It's reliable. That's what I built it for, to be reliable. A few little dings and dents, but I love it. And so does my wife, that's the main thing. <laughs> This is my 63 Ford Galaxy 500 XL convertible. And I bought it in Moncton, New Brunswick from a lady, her husband died. And I bought it from him and I bought it, brought it, drove it home. And uh, I cleaned her all up, put her in the car show. This is my first trip here, but so far I really, really like it. I'm Randy Ratzik, this is my 65 Chevy. Uh, my wife and I uh, built the truck over 18 years. It's uh, got a 502 crate motor in it, turbo 400, and gear vendor overdrive. We take it everywhere. It's been to the East Coast. Next month, we're heading west. I looked for 15 years to find one. I bought it uh, with pictures over the internet and uh, had it shipped home. When it arrived, my daughter said, uh, someone's dropping off some scrap in the driveway. But this is what we got in the end. She's a 68. She's 50 years old this year. Um, she's got a 396 big block in her. She's all restored. Everything top to bottom. There's only five in Canada and two in the U.S. I put a lot of time and effort into her. What's it take to keep it running? Lots of money. <laughs> Every gas station. <laughs> The whole day is fun, you know, relaxing, have the car out, enjoying my time with the vehicle. Nice weather, nice to visit with people and look at all the nice vehicles around here. So our job is very difficult. If it was up to me, everyone who showed up here would get a prize. But we have to award a few prizes and it's how the cars have been cared for from the day they left the factory but also there's a few good examples here today of cars that were from junkyards totally scrap and have been lovingly brought back to perfect condition with lots of time and money all of these cars are beautiful cars they aren't making them anymore for the most part well, we look at the paint okay we look at the how much detail you know look at how well they've been restored lovingly detail is a big thing the crusaders car club as you can see has supported this function since day one i will show you all of the t-shirts from 2010 i have one from every year it's a well worth cause i mean i don't think there's a person here that would not have had cancers in the family or a friend or themselves what we're looking at is a way of getting together celebrating life and a support for a good cause and my name's buzz i used to be in the wild ones years ago my buddy robin uh, we all used to be in the same club for years and years and all galvin uh, he was, he was a member for years and years, so we come out and support him and his cause because he does a good thing here every year. We've been coming out here five or six years on bikes, and I got a T-bird I come out in. Being a, a cancer survivor, it's always a good thing to support him. Yeah. That's why I'm here. Anyway. Oh, that's a long time ago now. Yeah. Probably about 12 years, so uh, there is hope. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's hope. You're living proof. Yep. It's been another incredible Think Pink event at Olympia Village. And while the band gets fired up for the celebration party, let's check in with Vanessa Jensen with the Canadian Cancer Society. Hi, I'm Vanessa Jansen. I'm the Community Fundraising Specialist with the Hamilton um, Canadian Cancer Society and I'm here tonight at the Think Pink just waiting on the ladies to finish their final count so we can determine how much money has been raised. Um, I understand that we're approaching more than 125000 total over the last nine years so it's pretty impressive. i um, excited to hear what they're bringing in tonight and uh, We'll contribute all of that money to the breast cancer um, research and services that we offer through the Canadian Cancer Society and we'll be sure to um, allocate those funds and give the credit where credit's due.
Pacific. Just before we get to the Czech presentation, here's Think Pink Chairman Mike Duhamel and his thoughts about this year's Think Pink event. It was fantastic day. We had more cars than we've ever had before, more bikes, which I want to be very thankful for that. So the word's getting around and we want to thank all our sponsors for doing that for us. Kids Bike Show was a great again. We had 21 kids participate. They all decorated their bikes. We've already had a number of vendors uh, book for next year because they enjoyed the day and they had a lot of traffic going through their boots. Our fundraising has gone great. The sun came out, it was nice and warm. So now all we have to do is enjoy the band and party on. Thank you. We want to per present a check to the Canadian Cancer Society for 14,200. A big thanks to all of the volunteers, staff, vendors, sponsors, and participants for making this year's fundraiser a tremendous success. And we'll see you on Saturday, June 15th, 2019 for our incredible 10th anniversary Think Pink event.